What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. The other day I did it on Vaporized Nomads, which I had confused with Mad Modders. Well, I didn't really confuse them. I just said that they had so many resemblances that I got them confused. I saw that they had the Sherman V3 for a little bit. I didn't get to pick it up, but I also saw that they had the King RTA. Being that the only review that I could find on this was very difficult for me to watch and to follow just because I was getting cursed at like crazy and I just, I could not follow the review i don't want to say getting offended it was just like wow this is rough if the people that worked here heard it and they got offended then there's something truly wrong with the review I'm not saying that mine is angelic or of the future i have to do a review on this just because of the style of tank it is it is newer age and it has a bottom fill all i could do is look at mad modders and just take it for what it is and that description is like five bullet points let's just bring this down i'm gonna show you about it put a build in it, bring it back on top and vape it. Going into this, I feel like I am not gonna like this tank at all because of the fucking bottom fill. Why would it have bottom fill? This is 2017, not 1998. K-Funds had that. King RTA, this is in the tube that it comes with. This may be misleading to most people because looking at this, you automatically think that Armageddon manufacturer makes this. People know Armageddon, they know this logo from the Apocalypse, the Omec RTA, which side by side, this almost looks identical to the Omec RTA. And I did purchase the Omec RTA to compare the differences. However, one is bottom fill, the other is top fill. I don't know why this is on here. Maybe Armageddon made this for Mad Modders, not 100% sure. All I do know is what's on the website and this says made in USA, 22 millimeter build deck. There's, there's really not a lot on this tank. There's the tank, absolutely huge. We have a Barbie screwdriver and some extra flathead screws. That is it for that. And it looks like an extra glass, yeah. There's really not a whole lot of different peripherals and stuff that's included in this box. And that's fine, because all I really care about is this right here. The drip tip, on the top that looks like a lifesaver is absolutely proprietary. You would think by looking at it, it's actually smaller than that of a Grenadier or A10. If you try to put an A10 in here, what's gonna end up happening is it doesn't go in. As you can see, it's it's too wide for the case. The O-ring is built into the top cap for the actual drip tip, but using an aftermarket drip tip is not gonna be so much of an option here. The drip tip that it comes with isn't the most pleasant to look at. I would like this better if this was more flat and more fat bastard style than it is as chubby as that is. It reminds me of the Sherman drip tip that comes with the bubble tanks when you buy them aftermarket. This whole piece, when you unthread this, threading feels good. What you heard was just the tank, not so much the threading. The threading is extremely fine. A little squeaky at best, but it's, this is serious. This whole piece is all milled from one piece of metal. It is not multiple pieces. It cannot be taken apart. Your O-ring is on the top there. This is not top fill. So all this serves for a purpose is the chamber of your tank. That is it, nothing more. It either comes with a glass, tube or a ultim tube and being that the drip tip is ultim i'm gonna go ahead and utilize the ultim tank i know some people aren't really fond of ultim the way it looks being all yellow and whatnot but to me it, it really doesn't matter i don't really care so much for that main thing we're here for is this guy right here looking at this top side looks identical to the omec the only differences between the two is the way you fill it right here you're gonna see two ports on the side of this rta and what those are for is for those fill ports on the bottom not a huge fan of this this is very old this is very outdated i get this tank is brand new but why would we utilize a bottom juice flow situation now one could argue be like it's not that big of a deal once it's filled up it's good to go i disagree that's very very outdated however with that still being outdated the weight of this is massive i mean you can feel solid metal it's not it doesn't feel cheap and granted this being a 30 millimeter is going to obviously add weight to it versus being a 24 but it's extremely solid and the machining is very well done on this very very well done it says it's made in the usa so only i could assume that it is made in usa however i will say that i've never seen a chinese product or tank i should say that has came in this type of quality with this type of machining it does look to be American made, it really does. Something like the Pangea, you know, I don't wanna to compare too much with that, but you could see the quality of the deck versus the quality of this deck. Airflow here 
is bottom airflow really, really massive. And then your bottom airflow for the flow of air into the tank is these, they're like little moons or teardrops, kind of resembles that of the apocalypse. And as you cut this off, you're basically just making it smaller by the configuration. It's not extreme airflow situation, but it is pretty vast for what it is. It looks like there's gonna be more inside the actual tank than there is on the bottom airflow itself. Your portholes are huge. They're that square rounded corner type look. When we take this screw out, you'll see the clamp that we're talking about here and how it's tapered, which means when you put a leg in here, it's automatically gonna bring it up. You can kind of see the cutout right there. There's only one way that clamp is going in. Now I know some people got the original Apocalypse and that was flipped. Yeah, you had to flip it the right side down so the taper was on the bottom and not the top. That's only some apocalypses that came like that. And this does utilize all flathead screws. Threading of the screws is real smooth. Yeah, really smooth. Very nice. Two negatives, you're positive in the center. And you can see your positive is insulated by that peak insulator down here. When you're doing ports of this size and this caliper, you're really going to want to make sure that you fill this up with cotton, but not too tight where the juice can't flow in. Again, I'll show you how I do the wicking on this. When I tell you this machining is nice, I mean, this is nice. This is clean. There's no burrs. There's no flaws with it. It's just a very solid tank. The only issue I have is this right here. Just I'm not understanding the idea behind that and where the juice would flow would be right here in this port. So as the tank goes on, the juice is gonna flow here and into the tank. Your juice is gonna go into here from the tank itself, but when you fill it from the bottom, this port here, it's gonna come from here and fill up the tank. Negative pressure is gonna be a huge thing with this tank, so you're going to need to unscrew one of those screws and then the other one about halfway just to relieve a lot of the pressure. Being that the juice ports are so close to each other, I'm telling you this will flood if you fill that too quick. It's a fairly large tank, but it's definitely limited to the actual design of that. I like the design of the motor. It looks super cool. The problem I have with using the glass versus the Ultim is I don't have a black drip tip to fit this. I'm just gonna use the regular glass because I think it's really gonna highlight the beauty of the machining of this tank. It looks really nice. Just don't understand the idea of the drip tip. I get 510, I get 810, I don't get this. Let's see the difference in diameters because I'm really concerned about this. So the outside diameter of this drip tip is 12.40 and on a 810 or Grenady style, we are looking at 12.5 it's 0.2 millimeters smaller than that of a grenadine. Really hard to see because the mod that it's on is really dark, but I did 10 wraps, 40 gauge around dual 28. I wanted to make a coil that took up the whole width of the actual airflow port and kind of went right over that so I got direct amount of airflow and you can see these coils are really massive. They're not massive in a sense where they're fat because the inner diameter is three millimeters but the, the actual length of these coils is really long. Wicking on this just like any other RTA out there is going to be not challenging but taxing. All about finding the right amount of cotton that you're going to be putting in here and you always you want to make sure that there's movement. See how, mo see how that moves? You want it to move like that but you want it to be sort of loose but tight. I know that seems like a double negative or an oxymoron, like icy hot. Loose and tight, that's how you want it. You see how I twist to get it in? And then what I do is once it's in, like right there it's in, now I'll just untwist and then just pull it. Try not to fire this mod as you do this because that's gonna destroy the cotton you just put in there. These juice ports are really, really big, so we're just gonna put it in just like that. See how loose that is? But it fills up the whole port. That's a little too much right there, and the fat that is. We're not too much worried about how much cotton spacing is between the actual tank and the coil, if that makes sense. Like for instance, you're gonna wanna make this so this is tight against the wall here inside, and it could have some spacing here. That doesn't really matter, the spacing that's against the actual tank. You don't want it to be too tight, because then it won't wick. That's all you have to do. What could happen is if you really wanted to, you can make one side of this so tight so it's just juicing up the one side. You could do that with a tank. More often than not, you'll find me doing that, actually making one tighter than the other, just because I only like one channel to give me the juice I'm looking for. And as always, we're gonna prime these up and get them ready to go. And for those of you that are asking, yes, I do heat my coils up 
prior to me putting cotton in it. Always do. Always. Sometimes because I get these little prison cottons, I get these little extra things inside my cotton. They're like little treats, little chocolate chip morsels is what I like to call them. And there we go, rocking and rolling. So what I'm going to do at this point is before I put the actual glass on, I'm going to make sure this goes on nice and smooth and we get no touching of, of the chamber versus the coils and we're good. This is what happens when you're juicing up. Totally normal. That's not, that's just because you're putting a lot of juice on the actual coils and then it's going to leak out of the airport. Nothing to be ashamed about. Sometimes we all just dribble a little when we don't need to. Go out and go buy a bib. Bibs work. I wear a bib, do you? All right, there you go. Doesn't sound the best, but that's, you know, that's the glass on the metal. I wish I could get a black drip tip. Yeah, that's gonna factor in for my opinion. That's sitting on the buster, DNA 250. You don't ever see me use this, but I was like, oh, what do I have? That's a 30 millimeter, that's a DNA, and uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti-o. Move over, butter. <laughs> Let me bring this on the top. What I failed to do prior to bringing this on top is I just realized when I went to fill this up, wait a minute, I can't fill from the top. So we have to fill from the bottom, which I despise immensely. If you are out and about and you need to fill your tank, you better have a screwdriver on hand. And again, when you're filling this up, loosen up just the one screw. I don't agree with this at all. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of O-ring is what there is in there. There's a lot of discrepancies with bottom fill tanks. They just, I, I guess the way that this tank is built is you are able, see there, see how it's filling? You're able to actually take it apart and keep all your juice in there. You would have to make sure you hold it all together. And I guess it being bottom fill. All right, so we're gonna put the screw back in. Make sure that when you put the screw back in, when you fill it up, you tighten up the other one. Because if you do not, you are gonna have a catastrophe catastrophe on your hands. Here we go. So that is fully filled up and it's already wicking. You see that? Big bubbles. You know, any kind of tank, especially this big, you really want to make sure that you know how to wick thoroughly well. That's it. That is a big ass tank on there. So let's bring it on the top. All right, guys, so we are back on top with the King RTA by Mad Modders. And maybe Armageddon Manufacturing, not 100% sure it does have that sticker on the actual tube. This tank is friggin' huge. I mean, it is tall as hell. That's big. That's, that's a huge bitch. And that's sitting on the Buster 250. Did a review for this guy, post link right there. Probably no one really even saw it. Had a little bit of copyright problems because I was dancing in it, but no, it's, we're not here for that. So this is fully wide open at a 0.51 build at, I don't know how, you really can't see the screen. 54.5 watts. Holy shit. did because I have 10 wraps and we're using 40 gauge wire, we are gonna get a lot of flavor. It's almost like you're gonna be eating what you would be vaping. If you're vaping on a watermelon fruit candy-ish flavor, it would taste like you're eating that. Like literally eating it. Watermelon seeds on your cheek, it's a hot summer day. That's what is gonna happen when you vape on this. Amount of airflow isn't vast like other 30 millimeters, it's all right. You can kind of hear it and that is wide open. The bigger the coil you have, the less airflow you're gonna have. Wow. The airflow is not super loud and it's not as much as what other 30 millimeters or even 28 millimeter RTAs have. This is kind of slimmed down in such a way to where you can really adjust it with that kind of teardrop type airflow. The Apocalypse has the same thing. The amount of flavor I'm getting off of this tank is insane. If I, I don't normally do this, but if I was to rate the flavor that I'm getting off of these coils, granted, they have 40 gauge on the outside, I get it, so it's super thin. It's gonna produce a lot of flavor and a lot of contact, a lot of vapor, just all around amazing little fused Claptons. Straight up, I would give the flavor a 9.5. It's that intense. I mean, it is intense. The chamber for this is absolutely massive. It looks like, in uh, not even a 50 cal, that looks like a big ass 
M203 grenade mortar on the top of there inside. I mean, that thing looks massive, but being that it's so massive and maybe it's the conical shape that's causing it to have that much flavor that it funnels up and gets really condensed, it's just a lot. A flavor what I would like to see changed on this if it doesn't affect the flavor which I'm sure it will so maybe leave it the way that it is is change this center chamber and the reason being is if you change it and add well then I guess it's not gonna be the King RTA anymore but I was gonna say if you change it and add top fill be great but then it's just like the Olmec RTA right I mean the side by side you thought the engine and the Pangea were similar if you had a different chamber in this that was smaller, you would have that much more liquid. Being that it's so big, yeah, it's a big tank. Yeah, you're going to fit a good amount of juice in this. But there are other 24s and 26s that will fit as much juice as this does. That aside, the drip tip. What the f Why would you make a drip tip of this caliper, of this kind of tank, that's a proprietary drip tip? So I'm stuck using this orange-flavored lifesaver. That's what I'm stuck with. That sucks ass. This tank is phenomenal. One of the best, if not the best 30 millimeter tank I've ever used. Modfather, done. Pangea, done. Sherman, done. All these tanks, done. The Aromanizer, all of these go underneath this. That's how much flavor I am getting off of this. It is just a smack in the mouth, donkey kick in the throat. That's what I'm talking about. Massive amounts of flavor. I can't stop talking about the flavor is how massive it is. That drip tip sucks. The bottom filling, dude, come on. You're gonna make a tank this good and gonna put screws in the bottom. If the screws weren't in the bottom, it used an 810 Grenady drip tip, I would give this a 9, 9.5. That high. People always ask me what's my favorite RTA. I did a whole review on that. But if you're gonna ask me what my favorite RTA that's a 30 millimeter, would be this guy. The tank itself is phenomenal. I mean, it's just an amazing piece of artwork. I will definitely give it that. I already ordered the Omex, so I can't wait to compare them side by side because essentially they look exactly the same. The decks are the same. It's just the filling mechanism is different. I guess if you don't mind using screws to fill a tank, then this would be great. But where it's at right now with this shitty proprietary drip tip and the way you fill this, I'm still going to give it a 7.5 or an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. An 8. It's that good of a tank, it really is. Just the drip tip is, I hate proprietary drip tips. Even if it was 510, I could get away with it. I'd be like, you know what, fuck it, it's a 510. I could put something else different on this. I tried like 50 different tips, shit from like awkward drippers from Russia and the Ukraine. I've tried every drip tip you could think of, even adapters, chuff cap for old drippers. I've tried everything and nothing works. That sucks, especially if you're gonna go with a silver look and you're stuck with that orange thumb on the top. I don't know, I guess if you like lifesavers, then oh, more power to you. If you could get past the way you fill this through the bottom, then it's a win. I mean, it's a win, 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 win. Simple, great construction of metal. Oh my God. Let's do 79.5 watts. Now this is only a 0.5 coil. Dual coil 0.5, it's 80 watts. Holy shit. And usually the more power you put through it, you lose a lot of flavor, not with this. I mean, I can't vape that. That's like a mean eight volts. That's not gonna be for me. The funny thing is I know it has nothing to do with this mod, but I haven't used this mod like ever, except for the review. But even now using it, the fact that it can accommodate a 30 millimeter, oh my God. I mean, literally it accommodates it. You could probably get away with a 31. Uh, no, 30 is kind of the max you're gonna fit on this. It is a little bit pricey, but it's well worth the price where it's at. Hands down. I've kept it real. Have you? Check it out.